Battle Ninja. Welcome back. <laughs> Battle Ninja, bro. God. Those fucking people just make me angry. Oh, they're fucking all over the place, man. I know. <laughs> But I was wondering where you, you get know, the, where you get the idea for that one day. Like, ah, oh, shit, man, let's fucking. Well, that's a common thing. Is like, oh, well, let's cut because well, they're easy, they're plentiful, you know, and you can fill them with water. And if you fucking miss or anything, you can just refill them. Yeah. <laughs> it's a complete fucking waste, though. Yeah, that's the thing I hate about it is that it's a waste of fucking water, dude. But whatever, you know what? It's your money. Use it when you mm. need it. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> this is so funny, dude. It's hilarious. I wonder what goes through his head when he does it. Like, yeah. You're such a fucking badass. <laughs> oh, yeah. This will give me pussy for sure. <laughs> Did you know that katanas are folded over like 17 to 19 times. What do you mean? Like, uh, when they're folding, they're taking the steel, they actually take the steel and then they bang it and weld it over on top of uh, each other. Okay. Want to know why they do that? Why? To, uh, to increase sharpness and uh, rigidity. Oh. And guess what? It doesn't work? It works perfectly fine. <laughs> but... It, but they have to do it that way because they're sh- they're steel as shit in Japan. <clears throat> well, that was a that it was, was a, far too much carbon. I can't it. remember. I can't remember. If it, I think it was in China that they would do it. They used to have. Um, I mean, this is. I can't remember the year in which this happened. But there was a. Um, yeah, yeah. They're taking off in the spaceship. I fucking you get. can't you can't skip it. The, yeah. Well, the the reason they're steel as shit is because like the. Whoever I can't remember exactly who it was, but like the dictator or the ruler or whatever, the leader mm-hmm. of the country was like they wanted to up their steel industry, so they literally were just like every single thing that you have is that is metal, we're gonna melt it down and start making metal with it. And like literally everything I mean like they're out in the fucking fields with like their pans, like you know, sifting through shit they melt that down yeah. they take their hose and like their like gardening equipment and like pitch pitchforks and shovels they melt that down and try to make shit out of it and that's why their steel sucks but i don't think it was i don't think it was japan i think it was china that that was going in yeah no, japan just has the unlucky uh well they're not the problem not. of their steel is just too much carbons in it yeah well, so it not, makes it uh, brittle they don't have a, a big unyieldy. industry. They're not a big industry, uh, you know, country like uh, some other places are. Well, I mean, they like the tech. Even if tech. they, even if they did like try and do, it's just their steel is inadequate compared to other places. Yeah, it's just too much carbon in that rock. Yeah. So they gotta their steel shit. And that's why katanas had to be folded over like fucking 19 times just to compare to a normal European sword. Mm. They're like, it was like, oh, it makes it super. The, the reason why they're so fucking like the way they're shaped and the way that they're how thick they are and all that is to compensate for how shit their steel is. That makes sense. And katanas are very easily broken if you use them incorrectly. Yeah. <laughs> If you don't use them exactly correctly, and that's why there's so many masters with the exact way to do it, your sword will break on the easiest things. Well, you can bang a fucking European sword on most things and it won't break it. So that's why I think katanas are shit. That's fine. What's what's your go-to blade of choice, Billy? My go-to blade. You know me. I got a claymore. Yeah. And I don't even use it. I like sabers. Okay. Sabers would probably be my... Like a cutlass? No. No. Cutlass is uh, kind of more like an axe than it is a... Because an actual cutlass cutlass is like that wide. Uh-huh. So. What you're... Th- those are more closer to... 
okay. Like a pirate pirate cutlass or something like that. It's never really been a thing, exactly. It's closer to... To some normal, like, uh, sabers. But, yeah. I don't, I don't know my bladed weaponry very much, so, I mean, like, I don't know, like... Do you have, like, any specific, like, what's, what constitutes as a saber? Uh, <clears throat> it's like 40, okay. 40 inches long of the blade, tapered. It's normally only one, one side of it's sharpened. Uh-huh. Um, there's, there's multiple different things for them. But, uh... You use it to butter your bread? Uh, you could. I mean, <laughs> if you really want to. But they're, they're, uh, more... They're very good for thrust and, and cut swords while, uh, cutlasses were cut. Like slashing type shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's essentially what the... Isn't that what kind of like what the katana is like? It's like a slash yeah. type deal. Yeah. yeah, it's not a not a thrust not, sword. Not a thrust sword. Yeah, I, mean, I guess theoretically you could, but it's not meant for it. Yeah, no, the you're not going to get very optimal penetration. Well, especially because like you know it curves up too, so like I think that would probably hinder your reach a little bit when yeah. you thrust with it. That's why most sabers are for like mounted units because you just kind of hold the sword uh -huh. and let the weight of the sword kind of drag across somebody yeah, yeah. and fuck them up that way as opposed to, you know, thrusting at somebody. You know what they should do? They shouldn't bring back Deadliest Warrior, but then, like, have people stage, like, mock fights. Well, I mean, technically they did in Deadliest Warrior. <clears throat> but, I mean, like, you know, didn't they used to do simulations and shit? I mean, like, get two people... Actually trained in that shit. Yeah, they just did two. They did like a thousand simulations, and then they just had you know two people dress up and do a mock fight to represent who actually won. Yeah, that'd be cool. But more more mock fighting and less. Uh, yeah, man. <laughs> Remember when that show was like the fucking hot shit, man? It's like, oh yeah, dude, that's that's fucking cool. Now now I learned that a lot of it was very un like. <laughs> unbalanced, yeah, unbalanced and testing wise, like during their simulations. Yeah, I wonder how they like how would they do that? Would they like like have run the gamut of like different um, like like perhaps like body types or something like that? Or like I, I just get confused on how that like even works. Like how they did it? Like yeah, when they would run a simulation, like I don't really know what that entails. So they never actually specifically say what they're they're doing. Right. So that's why you can't be 100%. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> but I mean, it's like... Say, most of the any, time... Any given day, you can get a different result, you know? It's yeah. like maybe the fucking mafia guy fighting the the, the Yakuza. Uh, Yakuza guy. Maybe he had diarrhea or something like yeah. that. It's like, you know... Well, the way, they're, the way it looks like they're doing things is that... Let's say it's two swords. Um, a rapier versus a katana. Uh-huh. So they're going to do a couple of tests. One to show who who does the better, um, who does the better cut, who does the better thrust, uh -huh. and then they would like put that against an armor value. Oh, okay. Because let's say you know, oh, I'm I have plate uh, while well, you have uh, while well, you have the other armor of your specific yeah. Like, type or whatever. You know, a thrust is going to be a lot more useful against anything with plate. Right. Because cutting plate is not going to do anything. Mm -hmm. And their their way of testing and showing that is like they take they take that uh, the thing they put like a, a kind of a replica armor onto it. Right. Uh, onto like a cow carcass and then they try and like thrust at it a bunch of times and they try to slash it a bunch, bunch of times. The unfortunate part about that is that no person's going to cut the same way 
right every single time or thrust the same way yeah so. There's, so there's like i don't know like that's the thing with it it's like even though they run these simulations it's like yeah you can't really take it for fact yeah i it's think like I mean, obviously the town is going to win in the the cut but it's going to lose in the thrust. in the thrust yeah. very easily so how do you weight that yeah like right. which one's more important in your your thing right well that's why i mean like honestly like you can almost kind of like you know i mean you can like make an argument for each side or whatever like to bit you know given the history of like you know because like they would pick um uh warriors from different time eras and stuff yeah. like that and it's like in different regions of the world and it's like you can kind of make some sort of assessment based off of the like what history has reported with that stuff but yeah there's no real way to know yeah because every every you know <clears throat> they all have different fighting styles and right, well, but I mean, it's just like <clears throat> I just get confused on like how they measure that stuff. Like, yeah, I, don't yeah. Know. I mean, I don't really, know the only the only way you could do it is you put point values based on some arbitrary numbers. It's like, yeah. okay, you got six inches of cut with the rapier, like six inches, six inches deep, but with the katana you cut it in half, so that's a full two feet. Right. So the katana probably did even better than that because you just ran out of meat. Uh huh. But you'll never be able to know that, so you're just gonna be like, okay, the katana gets a hundred points in that. Right. Yeah. And the rapier gets this fifty points. But then it got you, half. But then it's like, but then after that, you got to factor in like just like the skill of the person handling the weapon yep. and like the the climate, like maybe not the climate so much, but like you know, just like I mean, like climate or like. Um, like, the area that they're in, like, what that is, you know? Like, yeah. if it's uneven ground or flat ground or whatever. I mean, with that, they... They don't... All they're doing is basically they're testing the item... The efficacy of the weapons. Yeah. They're not testing, like, yeah. high ground, low ground, any of that. <clears throat> Those are variables. Right, right, So, right. and then, you know, in that show, they had experts... Right. Uh, come experts. in... Experts. Yeah. They come in and cut for them, and they could get like a master, you know, swordsman for the katana, but just like some guy who knows how to. I know how to do use a, a base, I know how to use a baseball bat. <laughs> and then you know, they go to the thrusting thing. the The rapier gets all the way through the cow carcass, while the uh, the katana only goes in like an inch and a half. Yeah. So now the rapier gets a hundred points in that. But the katana gets like ten to fifteen points in it, yeah. And now it's at a severe disadvantage against the rapier. Yeah, it's bullshit. <laughs> because no, that person, you know, things are specialized. Like, sure, the katana should have actually gotten like one hundred and twenty-five for the cut, but they don't rate it that way. Yeah. You remember? <clears throat> you remember the the video game? Yes. The video game is actually fun because wasn't it free? Yeah. It was a free Deadliest Warrior video game. That was kind of cool. Yeah. And then, yeah, they'll test their armor against, like, bows and secondary weapons yeah, and stuff like it's that. Yeah, it's, if anything, it's just cool to think about, but yeah. there's no real... It's a, cool, it's a cool thing, but don't take it to heart yeah, at all there's, because... There's no way to know. Yeah. There's a lot of... There... there <laughs> There's no way to 100% know, and then at the same time, they're, they're testing, their way they're, of testing is very flawed. Because <clears throat> I think, like, um, I think, in my opinion, too, like, the, the thing about all that is, is, like, um, all of the technology between, like, any of these different factions is all relatively the same. Yeah. If you're comparing, like, you know... Like you know, modern U.S. military to like you know guerrilla fighters somewhere, then it's gonna be like you know pretty like slanted thing going yeah. one way with all the technology that we have for like you know not only just like just infantry but everything else too. Like even the infantry people are like you know like that's like you know not even fair to compare the two in a, in a sense just because it's like you know. Again, experience is one thing, you know, with, like, firearms and all that, but I'm saying, like, you know, even with, like, you know, bladed weapons, it's, like, it really kind of boils down more to um, who's handling the weapon versus the weapon itself, in a way. Yeah. I remember one of them that was really annoying was, um, 
It was Spetsnaz versus like U.S. Did they do that in that like modern yeah. stuff? They did. Okay. Yeah, they did modern. So yeah, it was Spetsnaz versus like the the U.S. version. Uh huh. And um, one of them was like knives, and they had a a gel. Uh, uh, ballistics gel head uh-huh. that had a skull inside of it. Right, right. And then they determined uh, which knife was better by the guy coming up and stabbing it like two times or something. Yeah. And I remember the. Uh, I can't remember exactly who did which way, but basically what happened was. Like, the Spetsnaz guy comes up, and, like, he goes for the neck, and he cuts the neck open and all this kind of stuff. Uh-huh. And, you know, that's going to clearly kill this guy. Right. And they're like, yeah, these are pretty shallow cuts and all that, but you can see that you'll probably get the, the uh, jugular or something, but you missed it, so that means you don't, you didn't get it. <laughs> and then... it would be real sticklers for it. Yeah. And then the fucking, like... The U.S. Marine guy comes up and he just like takes this big ass knife and shoves it right into the middle of the face okay. with the skull and like it breaks the skull and and it goes through the nose and everything. It's, it's like, like this guy is definitely dead. You and so they gave the point him. to him. Yeah, it's like no, it's that's a- not even comparable because they didn't even stab it the same way. Yeah, they didn't stab it the same way. They didn't do anything like that. He literally just came up and like a fucking brute and stabbed some guy <laughs> in the face. That's as opposed to a, a navy. See or not a Navy SEAL, well, but set, like a fucking Spetsnaz guy a Spetsnaz guy who's trying to be more stealthy. You know, that's kind of what it is, and he goes for the throat. Yeah. You can't yell. He's like, yeah, you won't be able to yell or scream for help or anything, and then... Yeah, right. <laughs> it's it's just so dumb. Well, plus, like, I don't know, like, they air that show in the fucking States, of course they're gonna skew it any way they can. Oh, yeah, the US version is, uh, yeah, fucking lethal as shit, bro. Yeah, well, Spetsnaz actually won that one. Oh, did they? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anytime it's in Stripe Chats, we're gonna talk about guns instead. Thank you.